For decades, we've looked out at space and told ourselves one thing, the edge of the solar system is just empty, a cold, silent border where the influence of our sun fades into the background noise of the galaxy. But now, Voyager 1 is showing us we were wrong. More than 45 years into its mission, Voyager 1 has just detected something no one can explain. Not a planet, not a star, not a signal from Earth. It's an anomaly, a ripple at the edge of everything we thought we understood. And it's not random. It's structured. It's repeating. And it's whispering a message we may not be ready to hear. Join us on the enigmatic journey of why. As we delve into another mystery surrounding, Voyager 1 finally shows what everyone ignores at the edge of the solar system. Dot. Voyager 1 launched in 1977. Designed to be a messenger, a scout, a survivor, it flew past Jupiter and Saturn, capturing history-changing images, then kept going. In 2012, it officially crossed the heliopause, the invisible line where the sun's magnetic influence ends and interstellar space begins. Scientists expected calm stillness, a slow fade into darkness. But what Voyager 1 encountered was different. Instead of silence, it began detecting strange magnetic ripples, vibrations in the field, patterns in the radiation, and now those disturbances have become more intense and more organized. The heliopause was once believed to be a shield protecting us from cosmic rays and galactic chaos. But Voyager 1 is showing us something terrifying, the edge of the solar system may not be a barrier, but a battleground. The spacecraft is now picking up fluctuations that shouldn't exist, repeating signals, shifts in energy patterns, even distortions in time-based telemetry, like echoes bouncing off something invisible. Some scientists now believe Voyager 1 isn't just listening. It may be being listened to. Because this isn't noise. It's a pattern. And patterns don't form on their own. What if space isn't empty? What if the galaxy isn't a random scattering of stars, but a web, a network of energy currents, invisible to the naked eye, threading through the cosmos like arteries in a cosmic body? That's what some researchers now suggest. That Voyager may first have stumbled into an interstellar current, a force that connects solar systems, guides energy, and possibly even carries signals, not natural ones, but intentional ones. If this is true, the heliopause may not just be a scientific boundary. It could be a checkpoint, a place where forces beyond our understanding are watching, filtering, even deciding who gets through. The most unsettling part. The latest data from Voyager 1 shows signs of a repeating pulse. One that follows a structured rhythm far too consistent to be noise. And it's not coming from the sun. It's coming from beyond. Could this be a natural phenomenon we simply don't understand? Or is Voyager 1 now picking up a signal that was never meant for us, but that we're hearing anyway? Some physicists have even suggested that Voyager's long mission may have accidentally tuned itself into a galactic frequency, like a lost antenna finally picking up the universe's hidden broadcast. And if that's the case, then we need to ask the question we've been avoiding for decades, are we the only ones listening, or are we the only ones just starting to hear? Voyager 1's instruments are old, worn, and not meant for interstellar decoding. But engineers have recently noticed that certain telemetry readings, long dismissed as static, actually show repeating low-frequency pulses embedded deep in the noise floor. These pulses aren't constant. They flare up and vanish in precise intervals. And when scientists mapped them out across time, a pattern emerged. They align with Earth's position relative to the galactic center. In other words, they're tracking us, or reacting to us. The question is, why now? Some astrophysicists, no longer satisfied with the limitations of conventional models, have begun entertaining a radical idea, that the galaxy contains engineered regions, vast structures or zones created by an ancient intelligence. This is known as the architect hypothesis. In this model, space isn't a wilderness. It's built, at least in part. Voyager 1's recent readings, its magnetic distortions, gravity anomalies, and pulse signatures, 
match predictions made by theorists about how energy would behave near a controlled interstellar system. Could Voyager 1 be skimming the edge of an ancient mechanism, still running after billions of years? If so, we may have just knocked on a door that was never meant to be opened. When Voyager 1 was launched, it carried a message. The Golden Record, a collection of sounds, languages, and music meant for any civilization that might one day find it. But what if that record isn't just a greeting? What if it's a beacon? Some now theorize that the electromagnetic signature of the record, its materials, its spin, its frequency, could act like a tag, allowing it to be identified and tracked by systems far more advanced than our own. If Voyager 1 has now entered one of those systems, the golden record may have activated something. Not because we meant to, but because it was designed to respond to signs of intention. We still believe Voyager 1 belongs to us, a human creation, carrying a human story. But what if it no longer serves that purpose? What if, drifting 23 billion kilometers from home, it's now part of another network, another design, one we can't see and didn't build? Recent anomalies in its signal structure suggest external modulation. Something influencing the frequency from beyond its hardware limitations, as if the craft itself is being reprogrammed, or at least repurposed. If that's true, then Voyager may now be acting as a relay, a node in a larger system. And what it's transmitting may no longer be meant for us. For nearly half a century, Voyager 1 has carried our story into the stars, a machine built by human hands, drifting through the unknown like a message in a bottle. But now, at the edge of everything we know, it's whispering back something we never expected to hear. Structured pulses. Magnetic ripples. Anomalies too precise to be chaos. Voyager wasn't just a scout. It may have been a signal. A test. A trigger. A key. And now, something has answered. Whether it's a force of nature we don't yet understand or a system designed long before Earth ever formed, we've touched it, not with a satellite, but with a question. And if Voyager 1 has entered a region of space built for listening, or worse, built for watching, then the greatest discovery of our time won't be what we've seen, but what's already seen us. Thank you for joining us today on, Why? Let us know your opinions in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the video on your screen for more mind-bending content. Keep waiting for another exciting why. Adventure, and until then, stay curious and stay tuned. This is, why. Signing off.